Hey guys, it's Godford here with another deck list. Uh, I have to represent my girl for my premium Murakumo deck for Cardfight Vanguard, Shikigami Master Ryogi. So when I first saw Ryogi in one of the V Clan collections, I realized I had to build her. Now, if you're wondering why, kind of, it's kind of on the art. Kind of, she, she's attractive. I love her. She's so hot. Anyway. <laughs> Exposing myself. Anyway, also if before you say anything, her race is human. If you look in the box, so stop. Don't don't call me a furry. Don't call me a furry. That'd be furry bad of you. Pun totally intended. Deal with it. Anyway, I'm gonna start it off. So I really like Murakumo. Um, I actually bought a back before V even existed. I did a Yasui uh, for Murakumo. Um, I ended up giving it away, but because of it, I had a taste of Murakumo and I really liked it. So I decided to rebuild it for premium, and then. Well, you know, V. So, we're going to go ahead into my Murakuma Premium deck build. So, first we have Dragon Dave, King of Resurgence, Dragon Vita for the Overtrigger, one Blaze Maiden Parama, one Stealth Rogue of the Fiendish Blade to Masamura, uh, two Stealth Beast Scratch Cats, four Stealth Fiend Bull Anden, so these are your Stride Fodder Crits, one Stealth Dragon Heaton Scroll, great for Superior Calling, and it is a stand. Uh, and then we got two Stealth Beast Leaves Mirage. These are your Drodinals. Uh And last but not least, you need your Heal Guardians. Covert Demonic Dragon Kumadori Dope. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's the trigger lineup for my Murakumo Premium. So all the crits together. Uh, yeah, pretty generic. Rainbow triggers like usual. So that's how I like my builds. So. Moving on to the Great Ones, we run one, a Twin Buckler Dragon, which will soon be an Elementary Sanctitude sometime in the future. Uh, and then we run four Self Beast Metamorphoxes. These are great Murakumo units, which can sub its name to another unit's name. So it basically kind of is like Neo Nectar, except, hey, guess what, I'm also regarded this unit. Anyway, we have a great three Searcher Gateway Stealth Road uh, Attacka, Road, Rogue Attacka. So it's great. And finally, we have one of the Ryogi uh, cards that came out with Ryogi. Uh, Stealth Fiend, Taizan. And by the card text, you can see it's adorable. Anyway, <laughs> card flavor and card art. It's adorable. So I run 13 grade 1s. Almost could not do math. That's the grade 1s. Uh, and I guess to go into detail, uh, Taizen is great for replenishing soul because there's going to be a lot of soul blasting in the deck. Uh, basically, the second skill is at the end of the battle, this unit attacked if the attack did not hit, uh, Murakumo Staple. And your Vanguard Ishigami Master Yogi, you put this unit into the soul, look at the top seven cards on my deck, choose up to one grade three card from among them, reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So, this is really good for getting your grade threes, and literally, like your Vanguard's grade three, this is just an 8k, just swing with it, it won't hit. Then you just get what you want. Um, so, I love how they basically do Shadow Stitch, but they don't really s use the clan keyword. But that's what happens when you put, use a V Premium card. Anyway, onto the grade twos. We got two Stealth Fiend Jakotsu Girl. This is support for uh, Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki. Um, it's good. It's great because you don't reveal any Shiryukis. You Soul Charge one. Uh, the only downside is this is mandatory. It is not uh, May. It makes me sad, but oh well. We run the uh, two Stealth Fiend Lady Silhouette. Uh, Silhouettas. It's an A9E. It's great for Superior Calling copies from your hand on from deck to the board. And it's great for bot decking your opponents, so you can see a little bit of Gear Chronicle happening in here. And then uh, we run the new Grade 1 Searchers. For uh, the Vanguard series that is happening this year, Stealth Fiend Itohiki Girl. Uh, so it's great. Basically, you get a superior call unit that is not named any of the units you have on board, I believe. Oh, when it's boosted. So, first skill is when this unit attacks while boosted, counter plus one, switch your deck for up to one card with a different card name from this unit, and the same card name as any of your units, call to regard circle and shuffle your deck. And as a grade one search, I say, uh, second skill is in hand at the beginning of your ride phase if your Vanguard is greater or less. The cost is to discard a card. Uh, no, discard this card, my bad. This card. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade two or less card from among them. Reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. So it is a grade one searcher. Oh, I didn't realize the typo. You guys see the typo? There's a T after the period. That's funny. Anyway, 
It's the grade one searcher. I just call it the grade one searcher because it literally you don't have a grade one. Pitch this, get a grade one, and that's it. Then uh, the last one is Stealthine Fukun. So uh, the second skill is that the bell does unit attack. Of course, if the attack didn't hit, your Vanguard Shigigami Master Yogi put this unit into soul, and uh, all of the rear guards that has the same name as the Vanguard, they get 5k until end of turn, so it's a nice unit that gives power. So those are my grade twos for Ryogi Premium. So, on to the grade threes. We have four Shigigami Master Ryogis. Oh, I love this girl. She's so cute. I wish I pulled the super parallel version, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. I've seen the full art. It's nice. Anyway, let's go over the skills. Uh, first skill is an activate skill in the Vanguard Circle. Counter Blast 1, look at the top 5 cards of my deck. You choose up to 1 card with Stealth Fiend in its card name. Call it to a Rear Guard Circle and shuffle your deck. If your opponent's Vanguard is greater than or greater, you call 2 instead of 1. The second skill is when your Rear Guard is placed by the ability of this unit, that unit gets this unit's card name until end of turn. So, that's how you Fukun's skill of all units that share the same name as Vanguard come into effect to give everything 5k that shares the same name as the Vanguard. And finally, the last one, which is great. This is the key scale for Ryogi here. When the unit's attack did not hit, use Soul Blast 2. Choose up to the same number of cards with Selfie and other card names in your drop as the number of your additional rearguard circles and call them to your additional rearguard circles. If you guys didn't notice, this is an Excel deck, and Murakumo is Excel, and it's great. And they excel at being annoying, because this is Shadow Stitch, baby. Anyway, um... Finally, the last grade 3 is Fantasy Pedal Storm Shiryuki. This is a wonderful card. It came literally in the same V-Clan collection as Ryogi, and I was like, why not? I'll put it in there. It's a great defensive unit. Uh, comboed with Jokotsu Girl, it's even great to get the defense going. So that is the grade 3s for that one. Now we're going to move on to the Generation Units. Uh, start off with the generation units that aren't Generation Guardians. Um, first off, we have one Zerath Dragon Inferno Drachma. One Progenitor Dragon of Lightning Flame Gilgal. One Ambush Demon Stealth Dragon Mandala Ryo. It's GB8 for Murakumo. It's great. Um, the skill is an activate skill too. Uh, generation Break 8. You choose two cards from your drop zone. Return them to the deck. Search your deck up for up to two cards with the same card name as this unit. Call them in separate rear guards until end of turn. They get Shadow Stitch. Choose three cards from your hand and discard them. I don't know that all your Vanguard attack. If the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, move this unit in stand to your Vanguard Circle. And that is insane. What's funny is you choose two cards with the same name as this unit. It is literally the hard card. So Mandela Rio is really nice for your GB8. Uh, so those are my Progenitor Dragon, Zerath Dragon, and GB8. Uh, moving on to the rest, we of course have to have four Dharma Deity of the Five Precepts Yasui Genma. Gotta love the Yasui Strides. It's really great. That uh, second skill that he has there, Shadow Stitch, Generation Break 3. And in the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard if the attack did not hit. He shoots up to five of my units, and they get 5k power and extra crit. So this adds pressure. It's really good. And you get the superior call copies of your units as the first skill. So bless one. Choose a face down card with the same card name as uh, this unit from your generation zone and turn it face up. So a Persona Blast generation. Um, and you choose a card from your rearguard circle or drop zone. Search for up to one card with the same card name as that card from your deck. Call it to rearguard shuffle your deck. And, and at the end of the turn, return that called unit to your hand. So defense and pressure. It's great. Genma is wonderful. Now... Next, we have two Ambush Demon Stealth Road Chibaraku Victors. This is a wonderful unit. There is a combo that you can set up for this, and it is so stupid. You basically, on second stride, um, superior call these two from Generation Zone like multiple times. But that's neither here nor there. There, I'll show the combo later. And finally, we have two of the latest Murakuma Strides Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue, Izo Shiotome. Uh, so the skill is. For this one, it's kind of complicated for me, too. Uh, so it's an activate skill in the Vanguard Circle, and it's a hard once per turn uh, per unit. A counter blast one and put a normal unit from your drop on the bottom of the deck and turn a card from your generation zone face up. Next, you choose up to two of your rearguards. Search your deck for up to one card each with the same card name as each of those units. Call them to rearguard circle and shuffle your deck. And then the second skill is a continuous skill in the Vanguard Circle. All of your units with the same card name as another of your units can attack from the back row. So this does multi-attack. It is great, and she is cute. So I just decided to run two of her. And you really only need two Shibaraku victors for the combo. And usually kind of aim for this type of combo to end it early. But those are the generation units that aren't. Uh, 
the Generation Guardians. So let's go ahead and move on to the Generation Guardians. So one, the first one is uh, Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue Shira Hagano. Oh, Shira. <laughs> Sorry. Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue Shira Hagino. There we go. Uh, and it is a Generation Break 1. Counter Blast 1 trues a face down Generation Guardian and Generation Zone and turn to face up. When the unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Vanguards, and until end of turn, it gets an auto skill in the Vanguard Circle, which is when a grade 3 or less unit is retired from Guardian Circle, you may return that card to the bottom of your deck, and this unit gets 10,000 shield. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but uh, I read it out. So have that just for getting meeting generation break costs uh we have two of the new one i believe ambush demon stealth rogue aizen um so auto skill when this unit is put on the guardian circle choose one of your rear guards and it gets auto skill on rear guard circle and end of the battle your opponent's unit attacked if that attack did not hit you soul blast one and you may return this unit to your hand till end of turn this unit gets 10,000 shield until the end of that battle for each of my units with the same card name as the chosen unit so it's great for defense and setting up for next turn. So we got two of these. Then finally, we have this a beautiful demon here. Oh my gosh. Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue. She's... Oh she, uh, man, I can't even speak today. Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue. She's a Yuzuki. Uh, so basically, she's a decent generation guardian in my opinion. When this unit plays in the guardian circle during the battle that your vanguard was attacked by your opponent's vanguard, choose up to one of your rear guards, move it to the guardian circle, and that unit gets 5k shield till end of that battle. Then, you search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as that unit, call it to the guardian circle, and shuffle your deck. So, it's really nice to get units into your drop, which is what you need for Ryogi, because if the attack doesn't hit with Ryogi, you soul blast 2, superior call, X number of stealth fiends onto your additional rear guard circles because of Excel. And yes, I did pull the super parallel. I don't remember where I pulled, which set I pulled it from, but... Oh, it's from the V... Uh, during the V era, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, those are my Generation Guardians. And of course, if you're wondering who the starter is, it is, of course, Masago Stealth Rogue Goemon. I just think he's cool. Reminds me of Jiraiya from Naruto. Rip. Anyway. So, that is my Murakumo Premium deck. Oh, and that's right. To go into detail about Shiburaku Victor... The way it goes, let's see, I'm going to just put a random Excel 2 marker. Alright, so the way it goes is it's on second stride. So on first stride, you pay the cost to turn a generation unit face up in the generation zone. So the first skill is activate, soul bless one and turn a card from your generation zone face up. Then you reveal seven cards from the top of your deck, put up to a total of two cards with the same card name as any card in your rear guard circle or in your drop zone from among them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now, if you look closely at the second one, Shadow Stitch, auto skill in the generation zone. When your rear guard attacks a vanguard and does not hit, if this card is face up, soul blast one, call this card to rear guard. So, what does that mean? On first stride, I'm going to put this lovely girl here. Love you, Ryogi. She's so cute. Anyway, so basically you stride to Victor, right? Cool. Uh, you pay the cost, so you Soul Blast 1, turn a card face up. The card that you turn face up from the skill should be another copy of Victor. So then, at the end of the turn, this goes away. Alright, now we're going to reach turn 2. If you get a turn 2, depending on the matchup and all that fun stuff, uh, you just stride into any unit you want. Uh, so usually, uh, depending on the circumstances, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go into uh, Yasui Genma, right? All right, cool. Let's say I swing. The attack doesn't hit. Optimal conditions. So five of my rear guards get 5k power and extra crit because of Yasui's generation break three skill. Now, the attack didn't hit, right? You have two Shibaraku victors face up in your generation zone. You do not call both of them. And this setup requires a, quite a bit of like prep ahead of time. So that's why on first stride, you go into victor and then you turn the second victor face up. Then the next turn when you stride, you swing, doesn't hit, Shadow Stitch happens. You do not call both of them at the same time. You call one of them onto an additional rear guard circle, or wherever it gets power, usually on an Excel 1 or an Excel 2 rear guard circle. So you call this out by paying the cost, which is Soul Blast 1, right? You swing. Your opponent guards. Little does he know that you have enough soul to continue this combo. You soul blast one again. The second one goes on top of this one. What happens next is this one disappears from the board and ends up back in the generation zone face up. What does that mean? 
that means you can attack Soul Blast 1, Superior Call this one, and you can keep this combo going as long as you have Soul. So, I, I reversed that, but that is the combo with Shiburaku Victor. Now, with Ryogi, which is funny, it's usually on, like, you, oh no, I can't stride. Well, it's fine, you just go into Ryogi, you call rear guards onto your additional rear guard circles, and then you swing with Ryogi, Soul Blast 2, put a new board. And that's how it works with her. So... That is my Murakumo Premium deck, so please let me know what you think of this deck in the comments below. Uh, please leave a le uh, leak, or whatever, please leave a like, Put someone puts a leak in the comments below, that would be funny. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. But I just wanted to share this in case you were wondering if there were any interesting Murakumo Premium builds, so why not? So there it is. So thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.